This is a collection of units that I created that will speed up the process of making a game when you're using Unity with visual scripting. The goal of this package is to provide high level units for Unity visual scripting so that starting and making a game is much faster so you can focus more on graphics, music and levels for your game. So how do you use it? Let me show you. So right here I have a scene and I did some level design. So there is three levels that are created, but currently it's just stationary graphics. So now I'm going to use visual scripting and Spock to add the logic for this game. I'm going to select the character, add a component script machine, and I'll use an embedded added graph. And here is where all the game logic is going to go Add a camera follow unit so that the camera will follow this character Add a move unit to move our character and I'll set the speed to seven in X direction. And once the move unit gets enabled, I want to play my run animation so I can use animator play and specify state name run. Now I'm going to add the logic for jumping. So I'm going to use the touch unit and on pressed, I'm going to trigger a jump unit, switch the jump limit to two. And when I trigger jump, I want to play jump animation. But when the jump unit get reset, I want to go back to the run animation. I'm going to add a keyboard input. And if you click on the space, it's going to also allow you to jump. So you have two options, either touching the screen and it's going to jump or hitting the space. Now to reset the jump count, I'm going to add an if collide unit and set the tag filter to ground. On collision enter, I'm going to connect it to reset. Currently, the only enemy that I have is an invisible block that you can collide with if you fall off the platforms. I'm going to add another if collide, set tag filter to enemy. And if we collide with an enemy, then I just want to restart this level. Also, what I can do is use a stop move detection unit. That way, if the player fails to avoid the barrier, the game is going to restart as well. The game has some coins that we can pick up. So let's add a listener for collision with coins, tag filter coin. And on enter, I want to remove the object that I collided with, which is going to be the coin and use the add coin to add one coin to my counter. To complete the level, we're going to check for a collision with a finish tag. And on enter, I'm going to trigger the level complete. And if we have a next level, then I'm going to just load the next level. If we don't have a next level, I'm going to show game one UI. The UI name is the name of the game object in my UIs. And after I show that UI, I'm going to pause the game. We're almost done. A couple more things that I want to add is on keyboard input. If we click R, then I want to restart all levels, meaning that I'll restart the game from level one. And the other thing on start, I want to make sure that we resume game because we can enter the game from a paused state. And that is it. That is our logic for this game. Now, let me break this up so I can zoom in closer. One mistake that I need to fix is this supposed to be not moved, but stopped. And now the moment that we have been waiting for, we can build and run the game. And just like that, we created the logic for this game. Now, I hope that gave you a good idea what Spock is about. And if you have any questions, be sure to join Smart Penguins community Discord server and can ask your questions there. There's a lot of great people that can help you out. Don't forget to click the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel.